We continue our top 40 Husker feature. Hi, Sean Callahan for HuskerOnline.com. Today, we're going to break down Huskers 26 to 30 as the entire Husker Online staff here voted upon this list. And today, we start off at number 30, tight end Austin Allen. He had some real moments this past year as a redshirt freshman, a huge catch in the Ohio State game, among others. He adds depth to that position, and he's the really good receiving threat. Can he improve as a blocker? I think that will probably be the biggest thing he needs to do as he matures here in the program. Moving on to number 29, outside linebacker Alex Davis. And with Nebraska's lack of playmakers on the edge, the Huskers are really going to lean on a guy like Davis this year to step up and give them quality snaps. Because to be honest, the last couple of years, he has just not been able to become much of an impact guy, has been a non-factor in terms of tackles for loss, quarterback sacks. They're going to need more out of Davis this year, particularly with the lack of experience Nebraska has at outside linebacker. And sticking at that outside linebacker position at number 28, a sophomore, Caleb Tanner, came in as one of the highest ranked members of the Huskers recruiting class in 2018, battled some injuries and some other things, needed to get himself kind of physically bigger for the Big Ten Conference. Tanner is somebody that if any player on the edge could take a big jump and become a, a factor, Caleb Tanner is a guy that Nebraska would really like to see uh, move into that role here in 2019. At number 27 for the Huskers, we're moving over to the offensive side of the ball. Senior wide receiver Mike Williams. He's one of the faster members on this football team right now going into the season. Had some moments. Won a starting job as a newcomer a year ago, but uh, was unseated during the year by Warner. Kate Warner uh, took over because he was a more consistent perimeter blocker. And I, I think for Williams, improving his blocking skills on the edge will be as big as anything as we know he's fast, and he also needs to kind of become maybe that number two, number three receiver and be a consistent threat for the Huskers to go along with guys like J.D. Spielman. And wrapping up today's list at number 26, defensive tackle, nose tackle, Damian Daniels. And you look at him a year ago, he was very effective at times. I think the key, though, is can you get that snap count up a little bit higher? Daniels, a year ago, played anywhere from 12 to 15 snaps a game as his conditioning level. As a bigger guy on this roster, he's just not able to be out there every down. Can he improve that overall conditioning level and maybe push that snap count up into the 20s uh, where they can get him on the field more than they did a year ago? Because when he is fresh and ready to go, he's as dominant as any defensive tackle on the roster. A matter, It's more a matter of can he be ready to go conditioning wise and I think that will be when he takes that next step here in his career. Well that wraps it up here for our top 40 Huskers 26 to 30. We come back here in our next installment we'll get inside the top 25. Here for HuskerOnline.com I'm Sean Callahan.